Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead con number 1588, sum of all odd length subarrays. So we're given an array and we need to return the sum of all odd length subarrays of R. Okay, so well, the brute force solution would just be going literally through every odd length subarray, like doing it manually and taking the sum of that subarray and adding it to the result. But we can make it a little bit more efficient by storing the sum up to a certain index in an array. So that will allow us to query query the range sum in O of one time. So that will improve, like instead of having manually to calculate every sum of every subarray, we're going to be able to query it from that array in O of one time. So that's a very useful technique, which is applicable to a lot of problems. Okay, so first of all, we need to store our result in a variable, which we're later on going to return. And now we're going to do the prefix sum technique, which is start from the second element and add to itself the previous element. Okay, so after having done this operation, our array is now going to contain the sum, like at every index, for example, at index one, is going to have the sum of all elements up to the index one. At index three is going to have all the sum of all elements up to index three and so on. Okay, so now we can use this to our advantage to improve our time complexity. So now we're going to loop through all start indices and we're going to check all of the odd length subarrays that start at this start position. So we're going to do that with another for loop. So we start like the end initially is our start because we like one possible odd length subarray is just the element itself. And just, you need to pay attention here because you don't want to do just n plus plus, you want to do n plus equals two because you want your length to remain odd. So if you only did plus plus, your length would become even. Okay, and now here, if we weren't using the prefix sum technique, we would have to manually calculate the sum between start and end. But since we have a prefix, array here, what we can do is we can add to the result the sum between start and end. And this is going to leverage our prefix sum array to do this query in O of one time. So now all that's left is to return the result and implement the sum between function. So the sum between function is just going to take the prefix sum at the element end, at the index end. Okay, so this would be the sum of all elements up to end. But now what we want is actually the sum from start to end. So we don't want all of the elements before start, right? So we want to subtract those from here so that we will ignore them. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to remove from this sum, the sums, the sum of all elements from the index zero to the index start minus one. So here it is. You see, we just take the same array and we, we subtract it. And here, you know, if start is zero, this could go out of bounds. So I'm using or zero here so that if we go out of bounds with start minus one, we subtract zero. So we're not subtracting anything. So that's it. I'm going to show you that it works. And the time complexity for this solution is O of n squared. And the space complexity is depending on your definition, it could be O of one space complexity because we're just editing the input array or if you don't want to edit the input array, it could be O of n. And I know there's, act there's actually a more efficient way of solving this problem, but since this is marked as an easy problem, I believe they want you to do something like this. Okay, so that's going to be it from me today. Thank you for watching and bye.